Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Part 25. Last time we uh, made it back to the Team Plasma Frigate for the second, actually technically it's the third time we've been aboard this vessel. Um, we are doing the final bit of uh, the Team Plasma shenanigans, hoping we can stop them from turning the Innova region into the Ice Nova region. Um, we cut things off last time while I was looking for the key card. Apparently what you have to do is you have to fight every single trainer, and then the last one gives you the key card. Which kind of confused me because one of the trainers I thought I'd already fought, and so I just kept running around and around for like 10 minutes, trying to figure out what in the hell I was supposed to do. But apparently one of the chickadees I did not fight. So, uh, the password is Zekrom. Now the question is, can I spell it? Um, the, the jury's still out on that one. Isn't it just, isn't it just Zekrom? Success! Cool. Oh, there's, uh, there's Kyrim. The device is indestructible! You'll never be able to release Kyrim! You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Dude, two many battles just too many pokemon battles obama snow you poor fool you are about to be eviscerated in the likes of which the world has never seen before wait what oh my god Rude. Just talk about rude, man. Well, we still should be faster. Yeah, well, especially when you get the double quick claw cro procs all the way across the sky. Mammo swine. Hmm. So he's ground ice. Dead. Does he have all ice type Pokemon? So he's like the ice type trainer that hates ice. That's a that's an interesting combination. Eviscerated. Don't even think about living. Yo, five thousand XP. Drift Blim, that is not an ice type Pokemon. Cheshire, will you be fast enough? Hopefully, because if you're not, you will instantly die. He's got a three level advantage. Okay, you are faster. You shouldn't. This should kill. It should kill. You should. There we go. I got a little worried because his HP was dropping so slowly, but, uh,. We did end up taking him out, because he's like almost an ice type trainer. How did we decide the best way to beat Walrein is? I always forget. Is he just punching him? I think it's just punching him. No, because it is Earthquake, most likely. Dang, I can't quit yawning. Well, I've got some coffee. Let's see if it's cooled down enough to be, uh, consumed. The answer to that question is not really. It's still mighty hot. Cryogonal. I don't know if we've- have we, like, stomped on a trainer with six Pokemon this hard? Like, how long has it been since we just eviscerated someone like this? The Cryognol is, like... It's, like, the worst Pokemon, right? Like, I don't even know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Like, I don't know. It's just, like... Sheer Cold? I was actually just talking about that move a few videos ago. About how bad it was. Quick claw. 
Oh, yeah, he got him. He got us. The one time in the entire game that old Sturdy would have been good. I mean, granted, it's not like Mortar knows that ability, but, you know, since I was talking about that just a few videos ago, let's ice v ice, let's go. Okay, maybe not the best matchup. I guess Earth Power? I mean, I don't think Frost Breath is going to do all that much. Same with Grass Knot. And my controller just disconnected. There it goes. It's back. Night Slash. You can do it, my dude. Well, if nothing, even if you don't kill, you should take him with you with Rocky Helmet. Wow, that did nothing. So we know he's got a Night Slash again. Can anybody tank a Night Slash fairly well? Let's give it to Idea. Unless it's going to go for like a Brick Break or something, which would really hurt. But I think Sandstream plus Life Orb will take him out. Delicious XP. Ice Punch. I'm really surprised this Weevil doesn't know like Brick Break or something. Well, at least that'll give Aurora a little bit of XP. Beaten again. No matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Okay. Do I, do I need to battle you, my dude? Yo, we get to be the captains. Oh my god! La Twist! Cole Rez is bad! I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety- If I have to hear this fucker talk about Pokemon and their goddamn potential anymore, if I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means the strength must be brought up by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasma to force out all of Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to write your research journal about this if uh, the world's destroyed. I don't think the University of Unova Press is going to want to publish that if, you know, the world's destroyed. The reason I've been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bring out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. You're ready, come at me! Yo, Doc, where you at, my dude? <laughs> like, imagine if that was like a thing, you know, it's like your climactic moment. The hero is about to face off against the legendary evil or whatever you, you want to call it. And then he's like, uh, JK, I need to go back to town to heal. <laughs> see, see you later, nerds. So, where is Dr. Man? Dr. Man, Dr. Man. Don't you think there'd be less war if Team Plasma takes over the world? I mean, I guess. I mean, if that's your sole criteria for if something's a good idea, then maybe. There'd also be less war if every person in the world was dead. Doesn't mean that's a good idea. So let's go back and battle Colrez. Can we can we free you, my dude? Hararar. Hararar. Okay. So he's Colrez. So last time we fought Colrez, um he double dicked me down. It was very painful. I got very mad. It was humiliating. But this time, things are going to be different. At least I hope they are. I'm going to save state just in case. So what you got for me? Beeheem, pee, beeheem. I have no clue what the. This thing is 
is it just pure psychic or is it psychic something else? I don't know. It's psychic lava flames. Get burned. Okay, he's a he's a tricker. He's a dang old trickster. Come on, more! Bring out your Pokemon's power. Um, dude, you got like a fetish for this whole power word. Burn him. That's not burning him. So how does Quick Claw work? Is it pure Trick Room if it rocks? Well, uh, third time's the charm, uh, burn him. I'll accept a crit burn, okay? Just the, just the crit, whatevs. We're running out the trick room regardless. I mean, you know, a burn and or a quick claw at any point there would have been helpful. So if trick room's still in play, our slowest Pokemon is a roar, right? 97... Yeah. You do know Shadow Ball, at least. Granted, I mean, he's at such a low HP that I'm pretty sure... Wow, he's still faster. Or slower, I guess you could say. So far, uh, Colrez is destroying us. Okay, Metagross. Well, um, we'll see. The problem is that that Tambora is not alive anymore. <laughs> yeah, losing Tambora like that at the start was not my best move. He's got an air balloon. Well, you you gotta not getting critically hit by Shadow Ball balloon. Please crit. Please crit. Please crit. Take him out. Nope. Well, you've got a Meteor Mash Blade. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Cheshire. Uh, Glenn should be fast enough. I think just a straight up Drain Punch should finish him off, really. I mean, we could go for the Sucker Punch, but just in case, he does some shenanigans. Wow. Wow. Why didn't we set up o Odette? Because we already established that Odette was good against Meta Tang, Meta Metagross in the last video. Five thousand. Oh god, this is that electric fucking Rotom, isn't it? Is it still electric form or is it a different form now? It is. Oh my. It's the worst form. Okay, so let's retry. Well, let's really retry without Magmortar in the front. I think this is the play. I just gotta hope Cheshire can straight up one shot. Which Cheshire has not been very good at lately. Ever since, like I said, ever since we got him the Life Orb, he went from the the one-shotting beast to uh, "Hello, sir, would you like a tickle?" It's so weird. Die! Don't live. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we'll soften him up with Odette. He didn't even get his Trick Room in play, which is good, so we don't have to do all that uh, stuff. I don't think Odette's going to be too good for the rest of the fight anyway, so I think sacrificing her to make sure Metagross goes down is probably worth it. Wow, Odette does not play around. Okay. So he's going to heal. Should I Tailwind? I think we Tailwind. How much does Tailwind actually increase? 
It doesn't actually say how much it does. Ah, fuck it. I'm, we're gonna crit again. I'm calling it. I've got a feeling. Honestly, Odette may still be faster. Possibly. Nope. Odette, please. Thank- Ah, oh, you! We actually would have been better off if we hadn't crit there, I think. I think we're just gonna get swept by this Metagross. Yeah, he's still faster than us. God, why is Cole Red such a fucking bitch? I've, I, I don't get how he consistently shits in my mouth every time. It's so crazy. And I think we still have Tambor out in the first slot. Do we? I'm pretty sure we do. We do. God damn it. Okay, let's just do this again. Hope we don't get... Like, even when we get good RNG, we get bad RNG. Because if we hadn't a crit there, we would have really been in the better situation, I think. Well, let's see. He would have agilityed. He would have Zen headbutted. We would have surfed. He would have got to 1 HP. I mean, we would have been the exact same situation. So that crit had no... Did nothing, basically. Just die. This is where he lives with 1 HP this time. I mean, there, I would like to save Tambora because I know he's got several more steel Pokemon. And I guess I should have gone for the Tailwind, but I didn't know if he'd still be able to... Try, I don't remember how much Tailwind actually increases your speed. Okay, so he's agility it up, and as long as we don't get flinched. No flinchy, no flinchy. I said no flinching. I said no crits either. God damn it, man. What do I do, man? What do I do when he just flinches me? Does it know levitate or... I don't know, man. Don't even think about killing me. Why is ice weak to steel? Why? And we know Sucker Punch doesn't do any damage. Because reasons. What? Whatever, man. If he gets to flinch me, then it just at least give me the free crit. But the problem... Okay, we still have Tambora, actually. I forgot him. I guess this fight's going okay. We'll stick this one out. Um, if we lose, we lose. If we don't, we don't. I mean, he's gonna outspeed us in Earthquake, most likely. Thank you. At least giving us that much. He's gonna live a sturdy, he's gonna full restore. Wait, does he have sturdy and focus sash? Doesn't Kling Kling have sturdy? Please, just give me a fucking burn, man. Okay, I guess he doesn't have Sturdy. What is his ability, then? Maybe, I think, maybe, maybe his earlier forms have Sturdy? So we know it's Water-type. You do know Thunderbolt. Is he, is he Water-Ghost? 
God, I always forget. I hate Rotom. Rotom is literally the worst Pokemon. You can't even begin to convince me that there is a Pokemon more annoying and bullshit. No, Wash Rotom is Electric Water. <sighs> Motherfucker. So we're probably better off just going for the straight up Shadow Ball. Please crit and take him out. There isn't a Pokemon that's worse than Rotom. He's trash. I hate him. I mean, he's not. He's not trash. He's good, but I still hate him. What? He's not Psychic type. I thought Porygon Z was Psychic type. He's got a goddamn life orb. <laughs> He's got a gosh dang darn diggly dang life orb. What the hell is Porygon? I thought Porygon Z was psychic. No, he's still normal. Well, why the hell is there a Porygon Z then? Just punch him, my dude. Come on, man. This is so dumb. He just hyper beamed me, man. Well, we know he's got a recharge. So we Dragon's Dance it up. Idea, Secret Weapon Idea is our only chance here. Please die. I mean, I know you won't, but you're going to live with like 1 HP. Okay, we got a chance. I mean, you can't switch out. You got to stay in. Alright, what's, what's the last thing that's going to destroy us? Magnezone. Magnezone does not have Levitate, right? I always have to refresh from him. You would think I'd remember this after actually using a fucking... Well, we used a Magneton. But yes, it does not have Levitate, which is good. And that means we're faster because it's a fucking Magnezone. What? What? It doesn't have Levitate as an ability. What? It doesn't have Levitate as an ability. It has Magnet Pull, Sturdy, or Analytic. I'm looking at it right now. Does he have an Air Balloon? And I wasn't paying attention. God! I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. I can't believe we just threw like that. We should live with 1 HP. And then if we don't get paralyzed, we have a 25, we have a 75, no? Okay. Tambora. You should be faster. Magnezone is a very slow Pokemon. Don't you dare not kill here. Thank you. We win. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Alright. So strong. You're a very strong tanner in deeds. Let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other's Pokemon and trainer? Nope. I see. Does that answer the, my truth? Even if that's your answer, don't give up. The reason you're so strong is that you treat your Pokemon with respect and love. Yeah, that's what it is. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, and their full strength will be brought out by using a scientific approach. Even one without a conscience. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you will win will decide how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step on the warp panel to the other side of the room where Kyrim is being held. Good luck in battle. I don't wanna. Can I take this ship, man?
Yo, get out of the way, dude. Nah, nah, we beat your dude. Should we go back to the doctor? Hope not. Oh, yo. There's a dude there. He better not battle me. That blasted Colrez. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Yanova. How fortunate of you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Uh, yeah, can we, like, go to the doctor now? Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Chiron's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. Terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's... No. At my feet. Chiron is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zephram. My desire is the absolute rule of Unova. That's right, Chiron would be the vessel into which my desires would be poured. Don't talk about pouring your fucking desires into a thing. This is this is not one of those games, okay? <laughs> oh man. Lord Gestus, Chiron has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I mean he's got the scepter already. Just basically making king, dude. You can't like you're Legally not allowed to carry a scepter unless you already rule some small amount of land. What's up? Wait, you're one of the Shattered Triad, right? Tell me about the purloin that was stolen in Asperdia. Very well. This might be it. It's a dang old Leopard, my dude. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Asperdia, so it seems it's likely that this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now it all listens to my commands. Such is the fate of a Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? What? Don't mess with me. That's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, uh, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and the wounds of their trainers. Lord Gesta spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago, simply for his own ambitions. But if his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Leopar, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there, I won't you interfere with Lord Gaston's plans. Yo, yo, my dude, I've got a, I've got a Magmortar at 20 HP. Like, I really didn't think it was going to be the triple boss fight of the, of the century. I mean, that's just straight up unfair, man. Like, really? I was expected to walk all the way back to the doctor. I, I just assumed that after fighting Zinzolan and Colrez back and back, back to back, that the game would show me a little fucking mercy. And he's gonna be faster and kill us. Yo, ultimate crit of doom, lava plume, psycho cut, GG. I mean, that's just rude, man. Yo, it's gonna take me all the way back to like, whatever. Oh my god, I've got to do all of the fucking cave again. No, wait, where were we again? Where even are we? Now that I think about it. Oh my god, i got to do all the giant chasm shit again. Motherfucker. Oh god, I hate this game now. I hate it so much. It's so bad. It's not really. I say that a lot when I don't mean it, but it does make me feel better. Like, immensely better. There's something super cathartic to me about saying I hate this game, it's so bad. Like, it's just it's just one of those things that I say um, quite a lot. And it, it kind of, it's like something that kind of irks me a little bit when I like rewatch my videos like when I'm editing them or something. Like, I notice that a lot when I'm doing uh, the Trails series right now. Is that I'm at, the videos that are going up now are at a point where I was very mad at the game, basically. Because there were some boss fights that I'm not a fan of. That I mean, I do legitimately think the boss fights that I'm speaking of are poorly designed and bad. But at the same time, um, I did get very, very like overly salty, and it makes it seem like I really dislike the game. When that's just not the truth. No, it's the truth, my dude. Where the how, how do I even? Where am I? Is this the giant chasm? 
Why is it completely different this time? Just give me Ice Beam. This is not Ice Beam. <sighs> Can I just fight the Elite Four, man? That's all I want to do. I don't care about Team Plasma. Let, like, they can take over the Unova region. Why do I care? You know? All we need to do is beat the Pokemon League and then we can go bounce to some other continent. We can go fucking vacation in Hoenn, man. Uh, I guess we'll have to stop things here because I have no clue where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I guess I just, like, got completely turned around. But yeah, we'll battle the Shadow Triad dude again. Um... I just really didn't think they were going to make us fight dudes back to back like that. It's kind of dumb, but I'm actually 87. Stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.